Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back here to Jiao Ching. So today I'm just on my way down to the markets to grab some meat and vegetables for dinner tonight. So I thought on my way down, I'll just uh, take you down the little back road that runs behind our school here uh, and just give you a look around at what's going on here. So as we turn our camera around, the first thing we notice on the right here is this big building. This is actually brand new. Uh, it's only recently, only recently opened. And uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five floors. Looks like office space upstairs. And then down along the bottom, we have all these shops here. So we've got a luck and coffee. We've got a snack shop where you can buy chips, biscuits, all that sort of thing. Uh, pharmacy, ice cream shop. There's a stationery store. Uh, there's bakeries, little, little uh, food shops. Over the other side of the road, it's more older, older shops that uh, have been here a long, long time. Um, so we see here the uh, yellow bikes and the blue bikes up here. These are the higher bikes. So basically, you come down if you want a bike, you scan one of these uh, QR codes on the back here, and off you go. You're on your way. Um, we have bus stop here, so if we want to catch a bus into the uh, into the city itself, we can do that from here. And then we're just going to check the traffic. We're going to cross the road here. So over here we have a little photo booth. So this is where you come and get if you need ID photos, passport photos, that sort of thing. That'll happen in here. In here we have a little temple type of thing we can see here it's quite an old building i love these uh beams up in the roof absolutely gorgeous we can see a little uh little spot here for doing your worship i guess we have an old old plaque on the wall here i believe this building is from around about 1931. so as we carry on uh a couple of the shops here are closed, so for example this stationery shop here is now over in the new building over here. So they've just recently moved over to, uh, yeah, into newer premises. Uh, over here where all the bikes are here, uh, you'll often get hundreds of bikes parked here during the day. Just around the corner here is a middle school and all the kids that ride their bikes to school park their bikes here and then they'll have a lady sitting here all day uh, guarding. So the kids might pay one RMB a day to the lady and she will take care, make sure nothing is, make sure nothing is stolen. Have a little uh, food store here where they're just deep fried dough, uh, which is very popular have another pharmacy on our left uh, this shop here that is not open at the moment with the blue doors that is a fruit stall uh, it's not open now because school has just finished so they have no middle school students so the middle school is down here they have no middle school students coming and also with no students in the college they just have no trade so they're on holidays they will be back uh, towards the end of September here we have a little stall if you want to get your phone fixed or computer fixed. They do all that sort of stuff. Uh, we have a hairdresser's. Over the bike road here we have a bike repair shop. So they, you know, if you need your tyres pumped up or need a patch on your tyre, you can do all that sort of stuff. Uh, here we have a cobbler's. So he will he will make shoes or he will repair shoes either way uh, i don't know that he makes them there himself but he can actually take measurements and get your shoe size and yeah send off the orders and they will make shoes for you so on our right here now we have a uh, hospital so this is actually the, uh, this hospital is actually connected to our school. So 
Uh, yeah, a lot of students come here. Uh, I've been in there a couple of times for a couple of little problems I've had over the years. It's, um, yeah, it's good because it's connected to our school. Uh, often the teacher, you know, one of the other English teachers will come with me so it's easy to communicate and stuff. Well, we have another hairdresser here on our left. Then we have more food shops. Okay, one thing you'll notice on the street, no footpaths. You're walking on the street. Uh, one thing that I'm still not used to is, with well, it's opposite to Australia, but with cars driving on the right here, if you're walking down this way, we're taught in Australia you walk on the side with oncoming traffic so you can see the cars coming towards you. Chinese people generally walk on the other side, so they walk with the traffic. Uh, which, yeah, I, when I first got here, I found really, really uncomfortable. Uh, I would often, you know, we'd be walking down here with students and they'd all be walking on that side and they'd be going, come over here. And I'd go, no, I'd like to see what's coming to hit me. Uh, over here, we have a kindergarten. So you can see they're very, very big. So what's this one? One, two, three, four, five floors on the left there, three floors on the right. So... Yeah, I'm not sure how many students they have, but uh, they've just closed. But uh, I might come back and do a video one day uh, at school letting out time. And this road is just jam-packed, absolute traffic jam coming down here. Um, yeah, there's hundreds and hundreds of people trying to pick their children up all at the same time. It can be an absolute nightmare at times. Uh, here we have old house. So what did it say? Number 72 house on Jingxi Road. Uh, doesn't give us a year or anything. So you'll see these uh, little tourist things around. Same deal, you can scan these little QR codes and they will give you information. Unfortunately, most of the information is in Chinese. So. Yeah, I'm going to try and do a bit more research on them and see if I can find a way of translating them on the fly when I'm making a video. So if I see something like that, I can scan it and show you. Here we have a post office, a uh, toy shop, another stationery store, another hairdressers. I think we have five hairdressers on this little street here. Um, little household cleaning type stuff so brooms and all that sort of stuff it's a bus coming past so these buses here in Jiaqing are now all electric uh, they had a few electric buses when I first arrived here but they now their whole fleet uh, of the city buses are electric with the exception of the buses that go out to Dinghu they're still diesel powered um yeah it's been amazing watching them uh sort of trans 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 what's the word i'm looking for swap them over from diesel to, you know it was all diesel when i first arrived and now they are all electric buses and they're beautiful quiet to ride in very nice this old building here i'm not sure what it is now it was a small library uh, before the pandemic but it hasn't been open for a while actually we'll swap, we'll cross the road here and go and have a look see if we've got any English on here to tell us what it is now so I can see on one sign it looks like it was built in 1934 so what's that getting on for 90 years old doesn't give much more information there. Okay, we've got to sign up here, China Volunteer Service. So that's one thing, a lot of the small community areas in Jiaqing will have a volunteer sort of service where people can come volunteer. So for example, during the COVID pandemic, you had a lot of people volunteering to help out with uh, COVID testing with checking QR codes and stuff just to make sure everybody was safe 
little three-wheeler vehicle here is a courier so you order parcels that's what your parcels generally come in we have a dry cleaners over here which i use from time to time he yeah basically takes your clothes they send them off to another uh, another store to get done and then they get returned uh, we have a little Chinese bakery here so they're kind of like a bakery but they sort of do Chinese style you don't really get things like bread and the like there uh, on the right here have a little hardware store uh, yeah when you compare it to something like Bunnings in Australia the hardware stores here are very very small uh, cigarette shop uh, a tailor if you want to get a suit made so I've had a couple of suits made in there they cost about oh, my suits cost about 1200 RMB which is uh, a couple of hundred Australian dollars and that was pants uh, waistcoat jacket and a shirt all com oh, and a tie so that yeah it's not a bad price so as we get down to the end of the street here uh in front of us here is the old wall the ancient wall which we can just see over this way so when we walked around the old wall this was the section that was the first section we came across that was closed off so this is one area that they're doing work on and it goes around this way so around to the left here we have an old mosque and a lot of food places, a lot of the similar sort of stuff to what we've just seen. And then we're going to head down to the right here towards the markets. So we have a little convenience store here, a real estate store, a little mini supermarket, uh, which, yeah, they're not bad actually. That's a fairly new shop. I've been in there a few times. Uh, what else have we got here of interest for you? So here's another bus stop. This one's a bit bigger than the bus stop we saw earlier. Much, uh, much more traffic through this one, especially at school times. So always busy, uh, what, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning and 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. So what else do we have? Another little food shop curtain making by the look of it another hairdressers ah uh, this looks like some sort of a lottery store another hairdressers <laughs> there's a lot of hairdressers here a uh, little shoe shop another hairdressers another cigarette shop so we're getting down towards the markets now and we'll take you for a little walk through the markets and show you what they're like here in china so this is yeah open air markets it's where i quite often come to get vegetables and the like um this looks like a little foot massage place where you can come in get get a rub down on your feet they are absolutely heaven uh have another little pharmacy here okay down the steps <coughs> so you see all the scooters here a lot of the uh they've got a lot of electric scooters coming out now so they've sort of upped from the electric electric bicycles up to actual you know full-size scooters so here's one coming towards us oh she's just turned away so that one there was an electric scooter so heading now into the market area so on the left here is basically a place where anybody can come up if they've got stuff to sell they can set up a little stall and and you know maybe they be there for a week or something so we have a little clothes shop in here still a little bit early a lot of these places don't open till 4 30 5 o'clock so you know a lot of people come out and do their shopping then once it's starting to cool down a little bit 
So little odds and ends shop. So in here we have hats, uh, some books, fans, brooms, mops, some kitchen utensils stuff in there, buckets, all sorts of things. Little shoe shop. This looks like mainly a child's shoe shop to me. And then, uh, okay, we'll walk down to the end of here and then we'll uh, head into the market itself. So this is a fairly new shop here. This, uh, they actually make dumplings in here, sell you dumplings and things. So here's another little temporary stall selling, looks like underwear, bras and the like. Uh, okay, carrying on down here we have so out this sort of the front of the market itself a lot of fruit stalls out here vegetables are more inside the markets themselves so here's another little place making making dumplings a little glasses store another little odds and ends store another fruit stall in here Okay, and <laughs> these little shops here have basically cooked meat hanging and you just come and buy, they'll have chicken or pork or duck, uh, maybe some goose maybe. So you can come and just have a look at what you want, they'll cut it up, put it in a, put it in a container, put seasoning and stuff, sauces over it, and then you... Uh, Good to go, you've got a dinner ready made, you just, just add rice. So we're going to head inside now. So the first thing we see here is seafood stuff. So we have mussels and the like in there. Here we have some of the fish. So it's all live food down here. Here we have frogs. They do eat frog here. It's not something I'm a fan of. <laughs> not at all. So as we uh, come down through this way, so here we have the live fish in here and then you buy your fish and it's up there and they'll cut them up, can put them in a container for you and take them home and cook them. So then as we come through here, we've got more vegetables as opposed to the fruit that we saw outside. So, yeah, there's lots of different stalls, wide range of vegetables. If you're a vegetable fan, you can't say I am. I probably don't eat near enough vegetables, but I don't care. I can't stand a lot of them. Uh, right, what else have we got here? We've got a... Okay, and then we get down to this end, and we have meat. So mainly pork down here. We can see some sausages hanging up there. So they'll be freshly made sausages. Uh, over on the right here, we have chicken. So same deal, uh, just have different parts of the chicken. You can come and order them yourself and you're laughing. And then as we head down the back here, we have clothing section. So, it's uh, mainly women's clothing down here. As with most places, men's clothing shops seem to be running at a rate of about 10 to 1. You get 10 women's clothing shops for every one male. Uh, women are generally more fashionable than us men. Looks like we have a little sit down area up here. I've not actually been up there myself, but it actually looks quite nice. I might have to go and have a look another day. So as we come back through this way, so here we have one shop with some men's clothing and then the rest of it's women's clothing. And then as we walk through sleepwear, so that is basically our little walk through the back street behind our college and the markets here. Um, yeah, if you'd like any more information, feel free to ask. Uh, if you've enjoyed our little tour, like, 
share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Yeah, feel free to uh, hit us up with any questions you may have about uh, what you've seen here or about life in general here in Jiaqing or in China as a wider thing. Thanks for watching everybody. We will see you in the next one.